When designing tires for electric vehicles, manufacturers tend to place a heavy emphasis on efficiency in an effort to maximize vehicle range. But how much better is the range when using the original equipment tires for the vehicle compared to replacement market tires that weren't designed for EVs? And are there sacrifices in other areas of performance to achieve the improved efficiency? To find out the answers to some of the questions surrounding EV tires, we compared the original equipment Michelin Primacy MXM4 tires for a Tesla Model 3 to the very popular replacement market Michelin Cross Climate 2. We put both tires through our normal round of testing, and we added a real-world range evaluation to determine each tire's impact on vehicle range. To compare efficiency, we used a 200-mile highway loop around our South Bend, Indiana headquarters. The vehicle reported efficiency for the original equipment Primacy MXM4 was 236 watt-hours per mile, with the Cross Climate 2 using significantly more energy at 263 watt-hours per mile. Based on our estimated range calculations, the difference in efficiency would result in about 34 miles more range for the Primacy MXM4 at 100% charge, 305 miles compared to 271 for the Cross Climate 2. Without the constant sound of an internal combustion engine, tire noise can be much more noticeable in an EV, so that's another area tire manufacturers tend to focus on when developing EV tires. The Primacy MXM4 features a layer of sound-absorbing foam adhered to the inner liner, and our test drivers were very impressed with the tire's sound quality. The Cross Climate 2 did a great job keeping tire noise to a minimum as well, but it couldn't match the OE tire. Similarly, the Primacy MXM4 edged out the Cross Climate 2 in ride quality as well, with a slightly more comfortable ride compared to the somewhat taut experience from the replacement market tire. Steering and light handling was where the Cross Climate 2 had the advantage, thanks to its crisp, direct response to inputs that made the vehicle feel slightly more athletic and more satisfying to drive. When it was time for our wet traction evaluation, the Primacy MXM4 delivered satisfying results that were better than we expected for an efficiency-focused OE tire. Even so, they were still a monumental step behind the capability of the Cross Climate 2. 50 to 0 mile per hour braking distances were nearly 23 feet shorter in the Cross Climate 2, and it generated a tenth of a G more lateral traction on the skid pad. With such a huge advantage in grip, it was no surprise that the Cross Climate 2 set significantly faster laps, and our drivers strongly preferred its subjective characteristics as well. Once the track dried off, we compared objective braking distances and lateral traction, and the Cross Climate 2 was the leader once again. Its seven foot braking advantage and five hundredths of a G additional grip on the skid pad are both notable figures that can easily be felt by the driver. In our light snow evaluation, the Cross Climate 2 again displayed a significant advantage. While its acceleration and braking figures were a noticeable step ahead, the biggest difference was how the two tires performed when driven aggressively on the handling track. The Primacy MXM4 felt nervous under heavy acceleration, and it didn't turn the front end with as much authority as we'd like. Additionally, it felt somewhat loose at both axles, so instead of rotating through turns to make useful progress, we found ourselves waiting as we slid laterally before we could get back to the power. The Cross Climate 2 corrected all those concerns. It felt stable even at full throttle on the short straights, and the strong front end traction allowed us to carry more speed through turns and also to use the rear axle as an asset instead of a liability. On the ice, the two tires were more closely matched. Subjectively, the Cross Climate 2 felt like it was slowing the vehicle with more authority. And it did, but it felt stronger than the 4.5 foot difference in braking from 12 to 0 miles an hour would seem to indicate. 